How many of you can guess what we're doing there? It's typically served with a slice of lemon or lime. You got green bananas in there. And that's a nice piece of fish you're looking at there. Hello friends, Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Mm, welcome to my kitchen. I'm ready to dive into that. That is called fish broth or it's a fish soup basically. Very, very popular down on the islands. I mean to say, you use a cheap cut of fish, whatever vegetables you have laying around the house. Nothing too heavy though, not like the yams and the dasheen and cassava and thing. Throw that out of the way. We're doing something light today. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Welcome to my kitchen. Let's make some fish broth. I've got about two and a half pounds of fish here, which I washed with the juice of a lime. You can also use a lemon as well as cool water and I drained it. The first thing we need to do is to season this to allow it to marinate a bit before we get to making the actual fish broth. So I'm gonna go in with some fresh ground black pepper and you'll notice I'm not gonna put any salt in here right now because I'm gonna put a, enough salt when we're making the actual fish broth and about a heaping teaspoon of good homemade Caribbean green seasoning. If you don't have Caribbean green seasoning, well then you can use your favorite herbs in here. Give that a mix, a good mix, and let that marinate for about at least 25 to 30 minutes. In my deep soup pot here, I've got one tablespoon of oil heating on a medium high flame. And I'm going to go in with a medium sized onion and three cloves of garlic. Give that a quick stir. I just want this to soften up and to create a lovely base, a flavor base for this fish broth. That's just going to go in there, low heat, I'm going to turn my heat down to about low and let that sweat down for about three minutes. Next up I'm going to go in with some fresh thyme. You'll notice the sprig is still on there, that's fine. Later on we'll just fish that out of there. As well as two scallions or green onions or spring onions, whatever you call it. You just want to sweat that down maybe for about a minute or so. My heat is still on low. Now we're going to start adding some vegetables in there. And the thing with fish broth, you can be very creative with it, but it's not supposed to be overly heavy like typical Caribbean soups. So what I have here, I have one carrot that I cut up into, into wheels, two potatoes, some pumpkin, and all, all the ingredients I use here today will be down in where are you? down there in the description of the video. And something not typical to um, fish broth, but I love using some some baby okra or okra, and I just slice them in half. I'm just gonna get all those vegetables in there. Give that a quick stir. Then I'm going to go in with some salt. I'll be using fish stock, a cup, well at least three cups of fish stock in here. So I'm going to hold back on adding too much salt at this point. If you want, you can use vegetable stock, you can use water, you can use chicken stock. It's totally up to you, but bear in mind that most of these stocks will have a, a lot of sodium in them already. I'm going to go in with a nice dose of fresh ground black pepper. Mm. And speaking about stock, this is when I'm going to go in with that stock. So I'm going to go in with three cups of that stock there. And the whole idea here now is to really pile on a lot of water in here or more stock. I like adding some greens um, to my fish broth. So here what I have, and I, you can use Jamaican callaloo, you can use spinach, any sort of greens, but it's totally optional. Here I'm using some Swiss chard um, that's just coming in. Well the last of it in my garden. And I've got here some green cooking bananas. These are not just typical bananas, they're called cooking bananas or green fig. What we're going to do is cut the top off as well as the bottom and then using the tip of a paring knife you're going to go down the thickness of the skin following one of the natural ridges all the way across and all you would do is would peel back to reveal that beautiful green cooking banana and all you would do then is to cut them into small pieces like that maybe one inch pieces or so put that in a bowl with water or it will go discolored on you as 
you work the other two. My pot is now starting to come up to a boil, so I'm going to go in with those, the cooking banana. We're going to float in a scotch bonnet pepper whole, because what will happen is we'll get that flavor from the scotch bonnet pepper, but not the raw heat. If you're looking for the raw heat, when Mr. Dunn cook, burst it open, man. You're going to get it live. I have here a couple seasoning peppers or pimento peppers that I cut up. That's going to add a lovely flavor to there. In goes my greens. All that lovely Swiss chard. And finally, a key ingredient. One of the most key flavors I look for when I'm enjoying a good fish broth. Shadow Benny. Make call it culantro in the Asian uh, as well as the Spanish or the Hispanic grocery stores. If you can't get this, I would suggest using cilantro. Bring this up to a boil now. It's been going now on a rolling boil for about 10 minutes. So this is going to cook in total for 20 minutes. So the last 10 minutes I'm going to add that seasoned fish to here. Let's talk, but before we get to that, let's talk a little bit about this fish. This here is, and it's important that you use ocean fish. Traditionally, it would be a cheaper, um, a cheaper fish that would be used in making um, fish broth. It's usually like a, a fish head or something like that. If it wasn't so expensive getting them here in Canada, what I would have used, and I prefer using, is grouper. I love grouper, but in this case here, I am using skate. Um, seasoned up. I mean, it's a, it is a lovely ocean fish, hardly any bones. And that's one of the things you guys got to remember is when choosing the fish that you use, if you're going to be serving this to kids, remember to pay attention to the bones in the fish. So again, a cheap cut of fish, ocean fish, white fish, and something that would stand up to a little bit of cooking. So in goes all that lovely seasoned up fish. Give that a stir. And you want to cook that now for about 10 more minutes. So everything is going to be nice and tender, and the fish is going to really flavor this fish broth here. If you start seeing some sort of scummy stuff on the top, all you want to do is skim that off. It's just a little bit of impurities, a little bit of starch kind of happening there. And all you would do is toss that out. Guys, I've got to mention, traditionally, with fish broth, macaroni is used in here. It's a key component to good fish broth and look at all that niceness in there mm. looking good couple more minutes and it's good macaroni is a key component in here I do not like pasta well I can tolerate it a little bit but you know what I prefer not to use it so you'll notice I won't be using any in here taste for salt fish out that whole scotch bonnet pepper or break it you want to grab the stems from the the thyme that we put in there, take that out, taste for salt, make sure your vegetables are cooked all the way through, and that's it guys. Try to be gently when you're stirring because you don't want to break up those pieces of fish and potato and stuff like that. So there you go guys, a traditional fish broth from Trinidad and Tobago, a dish they say is good when you have a hangover. I've never given it a test drive, but hey, if if the people say so, then so it goes, right? Chris here at CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Remember to fish out that scotch bonnet pepper. That is a beast. And do give this recipe a try. Those cold winter nights, boy, nothing better.